Welcome to the Parsha Perspective. Each week, we will delve deep in a weekly Torah portion to find a practical and insightful way to enhance your daily life. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Shalom Yemini. Each week, we will look into the weekly Torah portion to find inspiration that will complement your daily life and intensify your connection to God. This week's Parsha Perspective is dedicated to Ben Yemen Ben Shira. May he experience a swift and complete recovery. This week's Torah portion is Parsha's Va'era. Our Parsha begins with Hashem revealing one of His most holy names to Moshe Rabbeinu, a name which He did not even reveal to our forefathers. Hashem tells Moshe that He has heard the cries of the Jewish people, and now He will avenge them and take them out of Egypt. Our Parsha contains seven out of the ten plagues that Hashem struck the Egyptians with, blood, frogs, lice, wild animals, death of cattle, boils, and fiery hail. Each plague cycle lasted one month. For the first three weeks, Moshe and Aaron would continuously warn Pari about the upcoming plague, and the plague itself would last one week. However, a question comes to mind. By each one of the first five plagues, Pari hardened his own heart, as we see in the Pusuk, Pari hardened his heart and didn't listen to Moshe and Aaron. However, by the sixth plague of boils, the Pusuk says that Hashem hardened Pari's heart and now he did not listen to Moshe and Aaron. What changed from the first five plagues to the sixth one? Why now did Hashem harden Pari's heart? Furthermore, how can Hashem now hold Pari accountable for his actions? He was the one who forced Pari to continue holding back the Jewish people by hardening his heart. One of the many answers that is given is that Hashem hardened Pari's heart as a punishment for not listening to him during the previous five plagues. And at this point, Pari will have to work extra hard to overcome his stubbornness and make the correct decision to let the Jewish people go free. However, a deeper and more profound explanation is that Hashem was actually leveling the playing field. Hashem hardened Pari's heart, making him more stubborn because Pari was under ever-growing pressure from the Egyptians to let the Jewish people go free as it was mainly the Egyptian people and not Pari that was suffering from these plagues. However, Pari still had a choice whether or not to continue to oppress the Jewish people. And this is why Hashem still held him responsible, even though he himself hardened Pari's heart. For Pari continued to defy Hashem's demand during the warring period of each plague. The Rambam writes in Mishnah Torah that one of the fundamentals of creation is that God created each human being with the inherent opportunity to choose between right and wrong. Each day we are given the freedom to choose between bringing Hashem closer and back down to this physical world, or the opposite, heaven forbid. As the Pesach says in Devarim, I have placed before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life, so you and your children shall live. In our daily life, it is imperative that we understand that the freedom to choose between right and wrong is the basis of a moral and ethical world. And since we are given the power of choice, we are accountable for all the decisions that we make irrespective of the given situation. Therefore, it is essential that we consider the consequences of our actions before they happen and hopefully make the correct decisions leading us closer to accomplishing our goals, dreams, and potential. There's an amazing quote by Abraham Lincoln. You can't escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. Have a great weekend and good Shabbos. Thank you for tuning in to The Parsha Perspective. Check out our website, theparshaperspective.com. Send thoughts and comments to theparshaperspective at gmail.com. Till next time, thanks for listening.